In Barcelona, the unions were out in force soon after this 24-hour strike began. There were some scuffles at Madrid's main train station, but trouble so far has been isolated. Pickets did what they could as some buses headed out. However, there is widespread disruption and Spain's unions have called on people to stay away from work. They hope today will send a message to the government here and governments abroad. This is not about just Spain, but it's also about Europe. So we hope uh, European governments and European policies changes after this. I mean, people can't stand anymore. There are anti-austerity protests across Europe today. In Portugal, there is also a general strike. And two in Greece. Both countries are implementing deep austerity measures to try and manage their debts. Spain has a debt of 76% of its total annual income, the highest it's been in 22 years. Last year, Portugal's national debt rose to 107% of what its economy generates in a year. And in Greece, national debt sits at 165% of what its national income is in just one year. People in all three countries are now living the effects of public cuts, and they're paying more tax. Amid the confusion of a general strike, it's hard to say if the growing anger of the unions and their supporters represents a wider trend among Spanish society. There'll be bigger protests here tonight, and that might give us a better indication of whether people's patience is wearing thin with the government's policies. It was a tough day for those travelling across parts of Europe but most people living in crisis-hit countries have bigger priorities. The path to economic growth in Spain, amid so much protest, will be hard.